promulgate uh, plankton blooms in order to re-oxygenate the oceans. Um, there obviously is no long-term research on what happens in that situation. So it was an interesting thing. Plankton is so ignored as a vital bottom of the food chain source of life. Uh, no larger animals can live without it. It's, it is one of, it's like a building block for all sea creatures. And then you have elephants that you would never think could swim, but can swim up to three, four kilometers in, uh, and do swim in Mad Madagascar for King Island swimming groups for life in the ocean. Um, and airplanes, which you think should float when they hit the water, but don't. So the piece does this unlikely two out of three sort of recombinant thing in order to ask questions about what we value, what matters, what an ecosystem is. The inclusion of these planes in this kind of system uh, was something that got me in a lot of trouble with a, a daughter of a scientist who said, uh, I can't believe there's an airplane to call this an ecosystem. It can't be an airplane in the ecosystem. And I said, well, do you think that we're not really part of an ecological chain and an ecological system? If you do, then you really would have to sort of think about production of methane, sharing the airspace, and so on, as something that includes the manifestations of what we are and what we make, and how we and all the things that we produce become agents in this larger system. So that's more or less the